real quick. Now I'm gonna show you what some things that we can do. We already touched on the smoking, right? Cause you're the temple of God. Don't do that no more, Will. Whatever you gotta do, fix that thing. It's hard. I know personally that thing hard. But guess what, man, I, I said something with you. After three days, I was done. The first three days was the hardest for me to stop smoking because that's where the nicotine fits come in. That's where you're a little rough. That's where you're not eating. But after that third day, I was good. I ain't even feel it no more. You gotta work through that, man. You gotta figure that thing out, right? So let's get some laws, right? Let's get some laws. One law is the Sabbath day. Give me uh, Exodus 20. One day is the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath of the Lord. And then today, we're not supposed to be working, which I don't believe you're working, Lord willing, you're not. We're not supposed to be buying and selling either, Will. We're not supposed to be doing that. Remember, we were made to be eternal. We were made to be gods, but we died like men because we broke the commandments of God. So one of those commandments is breaking the Sabbath. Read what you got. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work thou nor thy son. Right, so in the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to work, Will. You got six days to make your money. You got from Sunday to Friday sundown. And then Saturday, you rest, you pack it up, and you know, you serve the Lord, right? You don't work. What else don't you do? Get uh, uh, Nehemiah 10, 31. Remember I said you don't buy and sell on the Sabbath. You ever heard this in church? You went to church growing up, right, Will? You ever heard that you're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath from the pastor, from, from the Negro that's running around? <sighs> Just wiping his head and stuff. You ever heard that? That's, that's funny because that's what they do, right? That's what they do. But they don't teach you this Bible, Will. You probably learn more about this Bible in the 10-15 the minutes you've been up here than you have in your entire life going to church with a man jumping up and down and then he rob you real quick. He, he tell you some nonsense, then he send his, his henchmen around with plates and make you drop your whole damn wallet in it, Will. And if you don't drop your wallet, you the devil, Will. That's what he tell you. That's what he do. He rob you. Read Read the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Do you tell me if the pastor ever told you this in church? And if the people of the land bring war or any... Where? Or bring... I'm oh, sorry. If, if the people of the land bring where... You know what where is? Where is goods. Like, the people of the land in these stores. Most of these stores are, are owned by somebody that don't look like you, Will. Whether it's Chinese, Arab, African. Because we're not Africans, Will. I said something. Go do your research or uh, Chinese people, or white people. White, all these people are the people of the land. And if the people of the land bring what? If the people of the land bring what on any victuals, bring goods and food, on the Sabbath day. What day? On the Sabbath day. What today is, Will. To sell. To what? To sell. Like they doing right now, Will. Read. That we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You heard what the Bible said, Will? We not supposed to buy from them on the Sabbath. They are teaching you to break the commandments of the Lord today. That's right. And then we wonder why white people come in our community and shoot us up. We wonder why we more subject to get killed by our brother in our community than somebody that don't look like us. Because we buying and selling on God's Sabbath day. Which is a law that the eternal ones were meant to not break. Last scripture and I'm going to give it to the next brother. Isaiah 63 and uh, I think it's verse... 19. Last scripture, right? Listen carefully. Remember I said something that this book is only for one race of people. Well, there's only one race. Of, this book is about the Israelites going into slavery, repenting, going into slavery, repenting, going into slavery, and then in the end, they finally going never go into slavery again. There is only one race of people on this planet that have been into slavery multiple times since their inception. And that is the black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child. There is nobody else that has to suffer that. Even to this very day. Read what you got. It's uh, verse 63 and verse 19. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 19. This is what the Bible going to say that we are versus everybody else. We are thine. Hold on, start. Sorry, that verse, uh, what is it, 14? What 14 say? No, 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 no. 16, read. Verse 16. Doubtless thou art our father. Right. Doubtless, God, you are our father. You know how possessive that is? You, God, are our father. Not everyone's father. You are our father. The Israelites' father. Read. Though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not. Israel is our forefather, right? We are the Israelites because of our forefather Jacob, who is Israel. They are dead. They are not here to see the dark, the dumb foolery and nonsense that we do and shame their name today. Right? Read. Thou, O Lord, 
our, our Father, our Redeemer, our Redeemer, their name is from everlasting. O Lord, what has thou made us to earth from thy ways, and harden our hearts from thy fear? Return our servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance. The Bible says, return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance, which are the twelve tribes of Israel. It doesn't say return for thy servants' sake, all of the people on the planet. It says return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance, God, the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, which are the sons of the living God. That's what Israel means. Princes who have power with God and has prevailed. That's what Israel means. So the twelve tribes of Israel are the princes of God. He said, return for thy servant's sake the inheritance of the twelve tribes of Israel. Read. The people of the holiness have possessed it. But a little while. We possessed the kingdom under David and Solomon for 80 years. We've been in slavery in America over 500 years. So we only had the kingdom a brief time on the earth, Will. Read. Our adversaries have charted down thy sanctuary. Huh? We are thine. We are what? We are thine. We are yours, God. Right. We are your children, God. Right. Read. Right. Thou never bears rule over them. You never bear rule over the other nations, God. You have only said you are our king, our God, our redeemer. That's why our people suffer so much, because we're looking for a savior in the wrong people. God says we are what? They are thine. We are yours, God. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. They were never called by the name of Israel. They were never called the sons and daughters of the living God. That's what that means. So when your pastor tells you God is for everybody, show him Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, in the 16th verse on down, where God says, we, the Israelites, are yours. You never called the other ones Israel, which means sons of the living God. You That's understand? Right. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth